Arsenal Fan TV lads, a good win. Good to get a 2-0 victory, but I'm going to start with you first. I know that you're going to be a bit... Un you, you've been calling for strikers, unlike Chris, who we were just talking yeah. to there. Um, both of them scored today, so that's, that's a positive. But both of them missed a couple of very easy chances. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's, it's chances that they both missed that I hope don't, don't come up at places like Chelsea next week. I really hope we, we don't get a chance like that and we miss it. Mm. Because th that's, 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 the, that's the chances that win you league titles at places like Stamford Bridge and that. Mm. But... The transfer window's gone. We've, we've, we've got to stick with what we've got, and I really do hope he does stick with Walker up there. I really, really do mm. hope. Drew scored today, but let's not carry it away. He's, he's missed far too many chances mm. to. And I, I just feel so much more, more comfortable with Walker up there. I think well, you, you should see that the one pass from Mesut Ozil, though, who I thought was brilliant. The one pass split open the defence. Phil Walcott, he's got the pace which Drew doesn't have to latch onto them mm. sort of balls, and he puts it away. But very interestingly, then you could also argue that, and I'm going to put this to you, that um, Theo had a chance, the header, the yeah. same sort of header that Giroud buried. True. Easier one, easier chance that he put wide. That's, that is true. And I, I thought Drew, because he, he, he was coming on the sub as well, and he had two, cha two clear chances, and he scored one and two. But I mean, against uh, we've got a hard run of games coming up next couple of months. So I mean, we're not even going to get a quarter of them chances we had today. So we got to work on our finishing because we had enough chances today to score, score about five or six. And if you go into Chelsea, Spurs, you're not going to get as many, nowhere near as many. So we got to, we got to be clinical with our finishing. What, what, what did you make of the team today? I mean, we, obviously their next game is Chelsea. They lost today. They, they, they're not on any great form. We've been poor there. Are you, you feeling a bit more confident? Looking at the team, you're starting to see players starting yeah. to get a bit more into it. I thought I really did think, think Rams had a good. I thought his first half he was sublime, but mm. I really do hope he starts with Chamberlain and Alexis on the wings. I think we need to get at Chelsea. They're, they're low on confidence. Ivanovic isn't playing well. He's one of the, probably the best right back in the league. He's not playing well at all. We need to get at them. Like give, the, the, give them something to think about. John Terry, Cahill, Zuma, they're not playing well. Mm. We need to get at them quick. We've got the pace in the team. With Ozil, Walcott, Alexis and Chamberlain as our front four, I'm confident, mm. I'm very confident we can go there and get a win. We need to start taking these, these, these big chances because if you get, you're only going to get one or two at places like Stamford Bridge and you need to take them. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I think I'd start Walcott up because he's just a bit of a threat with his pace. And especially Oxley chamber on the wings as well. I think they'll they'll uh, link up very well. I mean, Urs had a great game today. I, I'll, I'll say that, even though I'm not his <laughs> biggest fan, but he did have a great game today. I just hope he he um, plays well against Chelsea because he's not really a big game player. We haven't seen him yet, really. So I just I don't know what's making next week. To be honest, I mean they're not on good form, but and we are, we clearly are. But I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm really unsure. No, I think we've got I think we've got an excellent chance of getting a result up there. Mate. I mean, could that listen? If we went there and got a result, could that be the end of Marino? Could he get sacked after that game? I mean, he's really had an awful start of the season. Yeah. You know what the uh, chairman's like there. Could that be the end of him? That'd be a shame because we won't be able to see his daughter, will we? <laughs> 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 but, um, yeah, I think, I think he, I mean, there was, I heard, um, uh, I don't want to go into this again, but... <laughs> <laughs> what have you heard uh, this time? I heard that he, he's, some of the players that he bought, um, they weren't his decision and he's not very happy, so... It could go off in the next couple of weeks, you don't know, do you? But we could finish.